Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Illusion Fox Gaming. So today we're doing the quest, uh, The Honest Truth. It's the fourth quest and the fringes along this investigation uh, behind uh, missing prisoners. Certain Marshal Brooks was eager to know what became of the injured Garlean soldier. By all rights, my men should be back by now. Go and see if you can find Lieutenant Malko. I want to know what those Garlean dogs were up to. Uh, I'm happy to report we managed to bring him back safely and not a minute too soon. I plan to speak with him shortly after returning, but the healers won't permit anyone to see him until he's settled and the bleeding stopped. I imagine we won't have to wait very long. Yeah, that's what you say. It seems he's finally fit to speak. I don't expect you to be grateful, but I'd like to remind you... Mind you, you likely wouldn't be standing here if we hadn't found you in that cave. Now start talking. What were you doing out here at Bitter Mill? We were looking for someone, an escapee from one of our facilities. He'd lost his memory and was otherwise mentally unstable, so we knew he couldn't have gone far. I believe the man we were speaking of is already in our custody. We found him seeking shelter in B Bitter Mill. He claims you captured him, though he cannot recall where. So return to Bitter Mill after all. I guess the past came back to haunt him. Even if he can't remember it. Listen, my superiors are not like to show you any leniency. If you tell me everything you know, I will do all within my power to see your life is spared. Do we have a deal? Miss, I may be dressed in the uniform, but you'd be mistaken to believe I owe the Garleans any allegiance. I will gladly tell you. Twenty years ago, a group of prisoners was relocated to Bitter Mill to assist in the Garleans more unorthodox experiments. They wanted to create a new chemical weapon, one that would leave buildings untouched while killing any and everyone it came into contact with. Black Rose, I believe it was called. That's that's horrible. Their intention was to drive back Oriozine forces without wasting any of their own on the front lines. Of course, they wouldn't know if it really worked without willing volunteers, and what better place than a village long since abandoned by its people. Not a single prisoner survived, their test proving a resounding success. It was only a matter of time before Black Rose would be deployed, or so they thought. To the surprise of many, the project was shut down before Black Rose could ever be used. The order came from the Legatus of the 14th Imperial Legion, an interim leader of the Alamegan province, Gaius von Balsar. The Black Wolf would not allow the senseless murdering of Yorzi's people. He saw them as future subjects of the Empire to be ruled, not savages to be slaughtered. Everything was to be destroyed, but the man behind the project would not see his work wasted, and ran off with the last remaining samples of Black Rose. He was promptly apprehended, but he'd already hidden away his work. They used every heinous tool at their disposal to make him talk, yet he would not, or rather could not, tell them where he hid it. The doctor had already gone mad and couldn't remember a thing. I can only assume one of his experiments went wrong and ruined his mind in the process. Then that means... The man we found earlier. Aye, that's him. Grilly Armius, former head of research of the 14th Imperial Legion. I can't believe that incoherent mess of man was a scientist in service to the Garleans. I think we've heard enough. Thank you for your cooperation. What do you think? A part of me wants to believe it isn't true, but I see no reason why he would lie to us. There has to be some way to substantiate his story. If the entirety of Bittermill was used for their experiments, it would be no easy feat to do, to do away with the evidence of such a massive operation. No, there would have to be some lingering trace of their work, and if they could dispose of it, their only option would be to bury it. We have to go back to Bittermill.
All right, let's split up. There has to be something here, and I'm not leaving until we find it. That ain't it. I shouldn't touch it, but go tell people about it. You found something? The metal container could it be the missing sample of Black Rose. So it's telling the truth after all. There's no time to be sentimental, nor hasty. Any mishaps in handling that container could prove disastrous. Let's report back to Serpent Marshal Brookstone. Lieutenant Moko, reporting, sir. We've discovered the identity of the man who we thought to be one of the missing prisoners. He is Grilly Aramis, former chief of research of the 14th Imperial Legion. Who oversaw the manufacturing of a chemical weapon known as Black Rose? After a thorough survey of Bittermill, we've discovered that what we believe to be a sample of this weapon. We'd like to request assistance in retrieving it. Attention, this is Brookstone. A container we believe to contain the Garlean chemical weapon has been discovered at Bittermill. I need to get out there and retrieve it immediately. As for the missing prisoners, they were used as test subjects for Black Rose. There were no survivors. Sir, I don't believe we should allow the risk of such a weapon falling into the wrong hands. I agree, Lieutenant. After the weapon has been safely removed to a secure location, rest assured we will see to its disposal. As for Guerrilla Aramis, his fate resides with the Council. Considering the weight of his crimes, his punishment will be quite severe. I almost fear the man, but memories are no, his crimes cannot be excused. So, Moko, Lucian, you've done well today, and I'm sure you're both, you're both quite tired. Go and rest. You've earned it. Actually, I think I'll be heading back to Bredania to write up a report. The events of Bitter Mill need to be recorded but that we might prevent such atrocities from happening again. I wish I could accompany you a while longer, but I'm sure the great Griffin Spain is needed elsewhere. Thank you again for all of your help. I look forward to adding your feats of daring to our record someday. And that was the quest, The Honest Truth. Hopefully you enjoyed that little video. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you again at either another live stream or another video. Uh, till next time, though, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. 